Imagine a bomber so fast it can reach any target on Earth in under an hour, evading all known defense systems. This isn't a scene from a science fiction movie, it's the potential reality behind the US Air Force's Project Mayhem. This Mach 10 bomber has the capability to change the face of global military power, leaving adversaries like Russia in a state of constant unease. In the high-stakes arena of military technology, speed and stealth are game-changers. Project Mayhem, an audacious initiative by the US Air Force, promises to deliver both in unprecedented measures. This Mach 10 bomber, capable of traveling at 10 times the speed of sound, represents a quantum leap in aviation and defense technology. As tensions rise and global power dynamics shift, this bomber could be the ultimate deterrent ensuring the U.S. maintains its edge over rivals like Russia. But what exactly is Project Mayhem, and how does it work? Join us as we delve into the origins, technology, capabilities, and strategic implications of this awe-inspiring aircraft. Project Mayhem is a highly ambitious and classified program undertaken by the U.S. Air Force with the goal of developing a next-generation hypersonic bomber capable of reaching speeds up to Mach 10. The project aims to revolutionize military aviation by creating an aircraft that can travel at 10 times the speed of sound, offering unprecedented speed, range, and strategic flexibility. One of the significant advancements of Project Mayhem is its unmanned nature. The aircraft is designed to operate without a pilot, allowing it to undertake high-risk missions that would be too dangerous for manned aircraft. This capability not only increases the operational flexibility of the aircraft, but also reduces the risk to human life. The unmanned design enables Project Mayhem to be more aggressive in its mission profiles, including deep penetration strikes, high altitude reconnaissance, and rapid deployment of munitions. The autonomous systems on board ensure that the aircraft can navigate, execute its mission, and return safely, even in contested or heavily defended airspace. The cornerstone of Project Mayhem is its intended cruising speed of Mach 10, translating to a staggering 6,667 knots, or approximately 7,673 miles per hour. To put this into perspective, the Russian-made hypersonic missile system, the KH-47 M2 Kinzhal, which made headlines in 2018 for its remarkable capabilities, pales in comparison to the hypersonic aircraft's usability and intended speeds of over Mach 5. Mach 1 is equivalent to the speed of sound, approximately 767 miles per hour, 1,235 kilometers per hour at sea level. Mach 10 therefore equates to roughly 7,670 miles per hour, 12,350 kilometers per hour. At this speed, the bomber can traverse the globe in a fraction of the time taken by conventional aircraft. This capability enables the US Air Force to reach any target on Earth within an hour, drastically reducing response times and enhancing strategic flexibility. Achieving and sustaining such speeds requires overcoming significant aerodynamic and thermal challenges. The bomber utilizes scramjet, supersonic combustion ramjet, engines, which are specifically designed for hypersonic flight. Unlike traditional jet engines, which compress air before combustion, Scramjets use the aircraft's high speed to compress incoming air, mixing it with onboard fuel for combustion at supersonic speeds. This allows the bomber to maintain its incredible velocity while optimizing fuel efficiency. The scramjet engines are complemented by advanced thermal management systems. At Mach 10, the friction between the aircraft's surface and the atmosphere generates extreme temperatures, often exceeding 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit, 1,650 degrees Celsius, to withstand these conditions, the bomber's airframe is constructed from advanced composites and heat-resistant materials, such as carbon fiber reinforced polymers and specialized alloys. These materials not only provide the necessary thermal protection, but also maintain structural integrity and reduce overall weight. Chris Combs, an expert in hypersonics and aerospace engineering at the University of Texas at San Antonio, highlighted the transformative potential of this technology. This type of engine could revolutionize air travel and defense. The combined scramjet design ensures that the hypersonic mayhem can deploy conventional missiles and bombs or conduct reconnaissance operations in enemy airspace. Additionally, the aircraft can safely approach and land at most airports, thanks to its versatile propulsion system. Building an aircraft capable of Mach 10 speeds presents numerous technological challenges, 
particularly regarding heat management. The extreme temperatures resulting from friction and air resistance necessitate highly sophisticated cooling systems and high temperature resistant materials. Digital transformation capabilities, unavailable a few years ago, now play a crucial role in the design and development process. Jack O'Banion, Vice President of Strategy and Customer Requirements for Advanced Development Programs, underscored the advancements in manufacturing technologies. The engine would have melted down into slag if we had tried to produce it five years ago. But now we can digitally print that engine with a sophisticated cooling system integral into the material of the engine itself and have that engine survive for multiple firings for routine operation. Bringing the aircraft to a stop after reaching hypersonic speeds is another significant challenge. The engines must be designed to cater to all speeds, including takeoff, cruise, and safe landing. The challenge of achieving and maintaining such extreme speeds lies in overcoming the immense friction and air resistance stresses on the airframe. To address these challenges, the project utilizes model-based engineering, MBE techniques, allowing for cost-effective digital construction and evaluation of all aircraft elements before prototype development. Frank Cerna, Principal Director of Air Force Strategic Systems at Draper, emphasized the importance of MBE, stating, a key element of developing hypersonics is the implementation of MBE as a cost-effective way to evaluate design concepts before proceeding to build a prototype. The range of the Project Mayhem bomber is equally impressive. The aircraft is designed to operate over vast distances without the need for frequent refueling. This is achieved through a combination of high-efficiency propulsion systems and optimized fuel storage. The bomber's fuel tanks are strategically integrated into its airframe maximizing capacity while maintaining aerodynamic efficiency. Additionally, the potential for in-flight refueling further extends its operational range, allowing it to undertake long-duration missions without compromising performance. In terms of endurance, the bomber is equipped with advanced avionics and flight control systems that enable precise navigation and mission planning. These systems incorporate real-time data processing and artificial intelligence, AI algorithms, to optimize flight paths, minimize fuel consumption, and enhance overall mission efficiency. The combination of speed, range, and endurance ensures that the Project Mayhem bomber can execute rapid, long-range strikes with unprecedented accuracy and reliability. Stealth and evasion are critical components of the Project Mayhem bomber's design allowing it to penetrate heavily defended airspace and complete missions with minimal risk of detection or interception. The bomber incorporates a range of stealth technologies, including radar-absorbing materials, advanced geometries, and electronic warfare capabilities to achieve a low radar cross-section and evade enemy defenses. The airframe of the Project Mayhem bomber is designed with stealth in mind. Its shape features smooth, angular surfaces that deflect radar waves away from the source, reducing the likelihood of detection. This stealthy geometry is further enhanced by the use of radar-absorbing materials, which minimize the bomber's radar signature. These materials are integrated into the aircraft's skin, providing a continuous, uninterrupted surface that enhances stealth while maintaining aerodynamic efficiency. Electronic warfare, EWU capabilities, are another key aspect of the bomber's stealth and evasion strategy. The aircraft is equipped with a suite of advanced EW systems that can jam enemy radar and communication signals, creating confusion and reducing the effectiveness of enemy defenses. These systems include active and passive countermeasures, such as radar jammers, decoys, and electronic counter-countermeasures, ECCM, that protect the bomber from enemy electronic attacks. At Mach 10, the bomber's speed itself serves as a formidable evasion tactic. Traditional interceptors and surface-to-air missiles are unable to match its velocity, making it extremely difficult for enemy forces to track and engage the aircraft. The bomber's high-altitude capabilities further enhance its evasion potential. Operating at altitudes above conventional air defense systems, the bomber can avoid detection and interception while maintaining a strategic advantage over adversaries. The combination of stealth, electronic warfare, and speed makes the Project Mayhem bomber a highly survivable platform in contested environments. These capabilities allow it to penetrate even the most sophisticated air defense networks, delivering precise strikes without being compromised. 
This stealth and evasion capability is crucial for maintaining the element of surprise and achieving mission success in high-threat scenarios. The Project Mayhem Bomber is equipped with a diverse array of weapon systems designed to deliver maximum impact with precision and versatility. Its payload capacity and advanced delivery mechanisms enable it to engage a wide range of targets, from strategic infrastructure and military installations to mobile and high-value assets. One of the primary weapon systems integrated into the Project Mayhem Bomber is Precision Guided Munitions PGMs. These munitions are equipped with advanced guidance systems that use GPS, laser or infrared targeting to achieve pinpoint accuracy. PGMs are capable of striking targets with minimal collateral damage, making them ideal for surgical strikes on high-value targets. The bomber's speed and altitude capabilities enhance the effectiveness of PGMs, allowing them to be delivered from altitudes and distances that are difficult for enemy defenses to counter. In addition to PGMs, the bomber can carry a variety of conventional bombs and missiles. This includes general-purpose bombs, bunker busters, and air-to-surface missiles. The aircraft's internal weapons bays and external hardpoints provide flexible payload configurations allowing it to tailor its armament to specific mission requirements. The ability to carry a diverse array of ordnance ensures that the bomber can effectively engage a wide range of targets, from heavily fortified structures to mobile missile launchers. Advanced targeting systems and satellite integration play a crucial role in the bomber's weapon delivery capabilities. The aircraft is equipped with cutting-edge targeting pods and sensors that provide real-time intelligence and target acquisition data. These systems are integrated with satellite networks, enabling precise targeting and coordination with other assets. The result is a highly effective and synchronized strike capability that maximizes the impact of each mission. The Air Force Research Laboratory, AFRL, has awarded substantial contracts to advance Project Mayhem. In December 2022, LADOS, a prominent engineering company, secured a $334 million contract to develop an air-breathing hypersonic system. This project spans 51 months and involves initial systems requirements and conceptual design reviews, costing an initial $24 million. LIDOS's Dynerics president, Steve Cook, expressed confidence in their expertise, stating, to deliver the next generation of air-breathing hypersonic systems, we'll leverage our years of investment, knowledge, and success in the hypersonic field our team is prepared to undertake this vital mission for our nation. Furthermore, Draper has partnered with LADOS to digitally create the secret hypersonic bomber, ensuring a seamless collaboration of expertise and resources. Project Mayhem aims to propel existing military technology into the hypersonic age. Traditional jet aircraft missiles, costing between $450,000 to $10 million, and specialized missiles, priced between $15 million to $70 million, are becoming outdated. Hypersonic missiles, as demonstrated by Russia, cost over $120 million each. Rather than investing heavily in single-use hypersonic missiles, Project Mayhem seeks to adapt conventional munitions for hypersonic deployment, revolutionizing combat technology. The unmanned nature of the Mayhem aircraft allows it to undertake high-risk missions in enemy airspace, engaging targets, or gathering intelligence without the risk of pilot capture. The operational flexibility of the Project Mayhem bomber is one of its most significant strengths, allowing it to perform a wide range of mission profiles with exceptional effectiveness. Whether conducting strategic bombing, reconnaissance, rapid response, or interdiction missions, the bomber is designed to adapt to the diverse demands of modern warfare. Strategic bombing is a primary mission profile for the Project Mayhem bomber. With its ability to deliver precise high-speed strikes, the bomber is ideally suited for targeting critical infrastructure, military installations, and high-value assets. The aircraft's payload capacity and versatile weapon systems enable it to carry a variety of ordnance, including conventional bombs, precision-guided munitions, and advanced warheads. This versatility allows the bomber to engage a wide range of targets, from hardened bunkers and command centers to mobile missile launchers and enemy air defenses. Reconnaissance is another key mission for the Project Mayhem bomber. Equipped with advanced sensors and surveillance systems, the bomber can gather real-time intelligence over vast areas. 
These systems include electro-optical slash infrared, EO Pi R cameras, synthetic aperture radar, SAR, and signals intelligence, SIGINT equipment, providing comprehensive situational awareness. The bomber's high speed and altitude capabilities allow it to cover large areas quickly, making it an invaluable asset for intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance ISR operations. Rapid response and interdiction missions benefit significantly from the bomber's speed and range. In scenarios where time is of the essence, the Project Mayhem bomber can be deployed to address emerging threats and neutralize targets before they can pose a significant risk. This rapid response capability is particularly valuable in crisis situations, where swift and decisive action is required to prevent escalation and maintain stability. The bomber's operational flexibility is further enhanced by its advanced avionics and flight control systems. These systems provide pilots with real-time data and decision-making tools, enabling precise navigation, target acquisition, and mission execution. The integration of AI and machine learning algorithms allows for adaptive mission planning and dynamic response to changing conditions, ensuring optimal performance in complex and unpredictable environments. The potential deployment of the Project Mayhem bomber has significant implications for global security and military strategy. For the United States, the bomber represents a powerful tool for deterrence and rapid response, enhancing its ability to project power and maintain stability in volatile regions. The aircraft's speed and precision capabilities make it a critical asset for addressing emerging threats and conducting strategic strikes with minimal risk. However, the existence of such an advanced bomber also raises concerns about an arms race in hypersonic technology. Rival nations like Russia and China are likely to accelerate their own hypersonic development programs in response, leading to increased competition and potential instability. The psychological impact of the Project Mayhem bomber on global adversaries cannot be overstated. The mere possibility of a Mach 10 bomber capable of evading all known defense systems forces rival nations to reconsider their strategic priorities and invest heavily in countermeasures. This shift in focus diverts resources from other areas of military development, potentially weakening their overall capabilities. The strategic advantage provided by the bomber ensures that the U.S. maintains its edge in global military power, deterring aggression and maintaining stability. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating insights into the world of military technology. Leave a comment below and let us know what you think about the TR-3B, fact or fiction. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring.